going to try a slightly different direction video. Um, this one I wanted to talk about heating options. So I have a 400 and change uh, square foot garage, and I'll insert a cameo of it now. So the garage cameo. Yes, everyone's got that one crappy spot in the corner. It's full of dirt. Uh, it's usually a lot cleaner. I have some cabinets that came out of an old school uh, and marble countertops, ironically, or some support some form of a polymer. I have a four post lift. Um, my Lexus is on it right now waiting for parts. And there's usually, uh, actually usually the seven is on the lift. We'll go over that. Wife's car tucks in underneath. She does a really good job of not hitting it when going in the door because uh, the poles are pretty tight. The seven I have is hand built, powered by a Miata because you're probably interested. Um, plenty of storage in front. This car is usually on the top and the Lexus is down below. Um, but that's kind of how it sits right now. And one of the problems I have is there's a room above it. Can't see it. But the room gets cold. Gets damn cold. And when I put new doors in, insert door cameo here. So it seems pretty hard, but if you look, got quite a good bit of headroom with the jack shaft opener. And these are the new doors, they're insulated. Um, I believe they're R21. So that's the kind of high level view of that. Um, I did my best to, I bought R21 doors with gl glass, which probably doesn't help, but um, at a high level, that's what I've done thus far. The thing that probably should be done is to pull the ceiling down and insulate it, but given my door setup, is uh, two jack shafts. I have to think about that. It's not really plausible. So I had a few options and admittedly I felt bipolar so I'm going to talk about those options. The first option that I was going to do was I have an old furnace. I recently changed my air conditioner so I changed the whole kit and caboodle and put in a 96% but I have a 90% downstairs. Sorry. 80% downstairs. And I was going to use the 80%, but when I started pricing out the exhaust pipes that I was going to use, it got really expensive. And you're probably wondering where would I put it. Um, my basement is right under here, so to speak. There's 18 inches that's exposed, and so my plan was to duct uh, a return on the supply, 21 inch, ah, 21 inch, 12 inch supply and duct, one on each side and basically use that to heat the garage. And my thought was natural gas is the cheapest source of fuel. Uh, that one's really positive. The other thing is it would be out of the way and so no, it wouldn't be very visible. But the problems that I encountered when I looked at natural gas was one, the chimney piping is expensive as hell. Um, when I started adding, I think I needed four B-vent pipe uh, connectors and that was $250. Then I added the black piping that I was going to need, the ducts, the fittings. Um, in my mind it was almost $1,400. So at that point I thought, well, if I just go to a PVC vented, go to a 92% furnace, I could just vent that out the side myself and the fittings would be negligible. Um, but then when I thought about that, there's still about five to $700 worth of fittings that I would need to put it in the garage. Um, the other thing is you would have to be, I think, 18 inches off the ground and I would be really close to that. And, sorry about that, and I'd be really close to that. So the solution that I'd come up with was to go up the wall slightly and then vent it out. So use that stud bay, but not an ideal solution. So forced hot air, 92%, 80%, both weren't really happening. So, the other thing is you can get a garage heater, which you probably see in the garage, garage or shop heater. And the benefit to those is it's pretty simple to hook it up. The bad part is you'll often see the unit for four or five hundred dollars. You'll rarely see the chimney kit that you'll need to run it. And since the garage is on the front of my house, I didn't want to run the chimney out the roof here because all my other exits are through the back of the house. 
Um, so again, not really plausible. So the garage heater idea was great. If I could have actually found one in 92%, I probably would have done that and run it through the attic. Um, but I didn't see anything that was above 80%. So at this point, uh, you would think I'm becoming bipolar because I'd switched between all these ideas. So my next thought was I'm about to finish the basement and perhaps I should go with a mini split. I was thinking I'm going to do a three head mini split because I, my plan previously was to do a two head one on each side of the basement. My plan was to do a two head mini split initially, one on each side of the basement. And then I thought, well, I could just run the line set up quite easily and run that in the garage. And then I'd have a heat pump, which could be powering, um, which I could use for cooling in the summer. So that was a pretty appealing idea. The more I thought about it, the more I was inclined to go that direction. The biggest problem I had was I couldn't find someone who would install it um, for less than $1,500. I wanted to run the line sets and really just have them pressurize the system. Uh, but that was something that was rather difficult to get. It's probably still likely to happen in the future where I put a mini split in the garage, uh, but we'll see. And so what comes up next? And the next solution was electric heat. Um, anyone who's done any research will tell you electric is the most expensive form of heating, uh, depending where you live, but for me it was not exactly the cheapest. And there are a few options. So what I had planned to do was put the electric heater in. And what makes my installation slightly different is I don't intend to be in the garage all the time. As I said in the beginning, I really had planned to use it for the room above. So you'll see some of my installation pieces are slightly different, and we'll go over those in a second. But this unit, uh, Garage Journal, on their forum they had Somebody mentioned this, and it was $59 or $69 the day before Christmas. And so I thought, what the hell? $60, what's the worst that could happen? I already had a plug from a previous electric car I had. Uh, we're going to talk about that. And so it was probably the quickest, easiest thing to put in. And so I bought that unit. Uh, it was back ordered, arrived two days later from, I think the company is called Rural King not so long we have in Georgia, and the unit came, and I'm not one of those people who is sponsored by any of these companies, probably like most people watching. So this is the unit, um, comes with an adjustable top bracket, this thing's kind of enough anyways for now, and it's got really three positions, so do you want it uh, leaning forward, leaning backwards just a little bit or somewhere in between. Um, and so the more I read about this, I think it's a CZ220, yep, comfort zone. Uh, a lot of people are saying it works fine. So I decided we'll give it a shot. And so here I'm going to show you a bit of the walkthrough of the installation. Um, probably most people aren't going to go through something this complicated, but um, I'll give you a high level overview. Keep in mind I've already done a lot of the work that you'll see. One piece of advice, should you buy this unit, make sure you take off the back cover and tighten the fan. So you have to remove this, this cover uh, by the screws and then pull, there's two screws here. The fan is actually only hand tight. I'm not sure what's going on there. But as you can see on the front, it's got some adjustable louvers. You can do some directioning. Um, it has a built-in thermostat and then three power settings. You can choose three, four, or 5,000 watts. And 5,000 watts puts you a little bit over 20 amps. So you're going to end up running 10 gauge wire and a 30 amp breaker. Uh, or a 25 amp breaker. So that's what I did. So let's take a quick look. And at this point I decided I was going to split the video into two. Uh, so this is the walkthrough and then if anyone's interested in, in the installation, please look for the second video. If interested, please like, comment and subscribe.